Thank you everybody for attending today's NACTA webinar. My name is Lorene Romero. I am your moderator. If earlier you were having a little bit of technical difficulty logging in, we apologize. GoToWebinar is having some issues today. So for those of you who are here, thank you so much for being persistent. You will not be disappointed. Today's guest is Richard Earls. He is the publisher for Travel Research Online, a huge supporter of NACTA. And if any of you have been to our conferences or even recently our Sacramento chapter city to see, you will see what a wonderful uh, session you have coming up soon. Richard has been a longtime supporter, and today we are in for a thrill for what he is going to provide for you, NACTA members. We will also be sending out to NACTA members. You do need to be a current NACTA member, so if you are not joined to NACTA, but you are listening to this webinar, you will not be receiving this special uh, offer. Uh, this will be coming directly from NACTA headquarters. This is being recorded, so we will have it on the NACTA YouTube channel. I will send everybody a link to that after it has been uploaded. If you've not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so, and that way you can keep up on our webinars that are posted. Lisa Watson also put some very interesting short how-to videos, like how to renew, how to change your password, that sort of thing. So it's a very informational YouTube page that we have. At the end, we will have a question and answer period because all of you are on mute right now. It's to keep the recording clean so that we don't have any squeaky chairs, keyboards, any background sounds to interrupt Richard and his presentation. So for now, I am going to turn the reins over to Richard. I will also be putting myself on mute, but I will be back at the end when Richard is ready for me to join him. Thank you, Richard, for being here, being our guest, and I'm looking forward to what you have to show us today. Thank you, Lorraine. I appreciate it. Hello, everybody. Thank you for attending. It's, uh, it's a fascinating thing that I have the power to put so many people on mute at one point. It's, it's, a, it's a skill I need to learn in, in other sorts of circumstances. We're going to talk a little bit about um, about our website product. And you know, it's interesting, the history behind this website product, for the last um, eight years at Travel Research, and we've been developing content for travel agents. And we never had an appropriate matrix to put that content into, and we would pass it over to travel agents, and they they didn't always know what to do with the content, the videos or the the graphics that we were producing, the destination guides. They didn't know exactly how to utilize some of that, and of course, some of that material NACTA members get as part of their um, their membership. So we developed the the Voyager website to contain our content. And like many other projects that I get involved in, the, the first thing that we did was a pretty long and sophisticated study of travel agency websites. And we discovered a few things that, that actually surprised us a little bit. And the first thing was that too many websites focused on suppliers rather than on travel agents. If you went to a website, a typical travel agent website uh, made by company A, or if you went to the websites made by company B, what you saw real quickly was all those websites by company A all looked alike. And all the websites by company B looked alike. And the reason for that was that those websites were more about suppliers than they were about the travel agent. And to me, that seemed completely backwards. You know, the last thing that the world needs is another place to buy travel. The world is filled with places to buy travel. Your clients don't have any shortage of places they can buy travel. That's not what they need. What they need is assistance in making intelligent buying decisions. 
And so one of the first things we determined was that these websites needed to be not about suppliers, but about travel agents. And I'm going to illustrate that in a little bit of a, a, um, a dramatic way. This is a typical sort of research result that you can get on hundreds of travel agency sites right now. And if you look at this for a minute, think about the impact that this has on a consumer who visits your website and finds this kind of search on it. What this is doing is telling the consumer everything they need to know. This consumer doesn't have any need now to consult you at all. The only thing that they have to do now is shop it. And that's a big, big difference. You know, we talk about a marketing funnel, and the market, the function of the marketing funnel is to draw the consumer closer to you. And unfortunately, what this does is draw the consumer, for, uh, push the consumer further away from you. It actually causes the consumer to, to bounce right over to, uh, to uh, Google. Now, I want to make sure that everyone can see my screen. I, I suddenly realize that people may not be able to see my screen. Yeah, I'm hoping that everybody can see the screen okay and that the screen has changed to the, uh, to the search result here. It has so, changed. It's working. All right. Very good. Thank you. So instead of a marketing funnel, what something like this becomes is a marketing trampoline. Your client bounces off your website right to Google and begins to shop you. So we determined that we were going to do something very different. First of all, the websites were going to be about the travel agent. And the websites were going to be about the, the experience of working with a travel agent. Because after all, that's what you are selling. You're selling your capacities. You're selling your ability to help make intelligent buying decisions. You're selling your relationships with consumers. Um, with the consumer and the, your relationship with, with the suppliers. But you're not selling travel. The consumer really doesn't need you to buy travel. They need you to assist them in that process. And that's where your value add is. And so we wanted to make our site all about the value add. And so this is what a lot of companies call travel content. This is the content that they give you for your website. We do something a little bit different. Our content looks like this. If we give you travel specials, we're not going to tell you who the supplier is. We're going to give you just enough information to inspire the consumer, to make them want to travel, but then we're going to tell them for more information, you need to talk to the travel consultant. And inspiring travel is what everything we do is about. So if you look at these graphics, all these graphics are meant to inspire travel. And by the way, a lot of the content that we produce for these are designed to also be used on social media. So you can imagine what this type of graphic looks like on social media. So we're going to give you tools not just for your website, but also for Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. So if we go down just a little bit more, we see a few more graphical types of information that again, this is a cartoon collection. These are postcards, all of which are, cons are, are both consumer friendly and travel agent friendly and directs, for example, the call to action here is give us a call. And there's a little meme here that, that you can use in your social media. We also have a lot of widgets that work on the site. These widgets just again are designed to entice the consumer, to get the consumer engaged in a conversation with you. So there's a brochure rack, a blog. Blog is very important for your search engine optimization. A travel news widget. A world climate and rainfall widget so that if your client wants to know what the you know, what the weather is like in Dublin, Ireland during June, this will tell them. The travel quotes widget, and we're going to look at some of these on actual websites, but 
the travel quotes widget every time the page is refreshed, a new travel quote appears. A currency converter, so they don't have to go off-site to find currency conversions. A countdown timer widget, so that you can actually create separate individual pages for various clients and their vacations coming up. Those can even be password protected. A weather widget. A world festivals widget. And again, if they want more information about this particular festival, and all the festivals change each time the uh, page is refreshed, if they want more information, they're directed to speak to you through a contact form. Videos. Right now, there are more than 100 videos in the site. We had, we had at least five videos every month. I think right now there's about 115 in there. All of them are about, about a, a minute long, and I would play this one for you, except that GoToWebinar doesn't stream video very well. So when you get finished with this, if you'll go to VoyagerWebsites.com and look at some of the videos on the site, I think you'll be really impressed. If you've seen any of the videos that we have for NACTA agents in the uh, Voyager Travel Guide series, then you've seen some of these. And the, the difference between the two libraries is this library is much, much larger. There's a world clock widget. There's a map widget so that you can show your clients where you've been. We have two photo collections. There are free photos in the system that you can utilize. There are also two stock libraries that you can access with very, very inexpensive prices for the videos. There are destination videos that you can use on the site and also in your social media. You may recognize these destination guides. There's over 750 destination guides in this collection. And uh, big news flash, uh, this fall we're completely redoing the destination guides. A whole lot of new materials, all kinds of great information uh, I think you'll really enjoy what we're going to do uh, new to the destination guide. Destination infographics. These are infographics about hundreds of destinations worldwide. Just little pieces that you can use in an article, on your blog, in your social media, on your website, however you want to use these. If you've got a client that's going to Oahu, you can send this to them. Our port of call guides, which you may already be familiar with. And then travel articles. This library has as many as uh, 600 articles in it now. And again, we're adding two or three a week. So that's the, um, you know, that's the essence of the library. And the thing I want you to know is we are always adding to the library. We're always keeping it fresh and updated. So there's always new specials in there. There's always new widgets. There's always new information. Uh, this is one of the sites. I'd like to show you a sample site. And on our on the Voyager websites uh, site, we have a, a, a dozen or more sample sites that you can look at. And just to let you know, all those sites are templates. The photography changes. No two sites of ours should ever look alike. Every site that we do looks different from the last site that we did. And so. Each site, each template, the pictures can change just because this one has giraffes on it doesn't mean that this has to be, this template has to be used for safaris or for adventure travel. It can be used for any, any destination or any activity or even a general thing. But as we go down through it, you look at these particular specials, and I told you we had travel special, but here's the great thing. These travel specials, are meant to inspire travel. So when you look at it, they'll have great information on it. You may see a price on it, but you're not going to know where to get it unless you're the travel agent and you have the key. If you're the consumer, you have to fill out this little form. You submit it, and it goes right to the travel agent with information, with information on the supplier, information on the consumer, and then you can get in touch with your client. It's just such a better way to initiate a conversation with a client rather than miss it all together because they bounced off your website to Google. We've got a lot of sample sites uh, that I want you to take a look at. Look at, And if you go to VoyagerWebsites.com after this webinar, 
you can see those. And I really do think that that we've designed some really interesting sites. And like I said, no two of these sites look alike. They all look a little bit different. And you can see they are meant to be spectacular. They are meant to be gorgeous. They are meant to be the most attractive sites on the Internet. And here you can see some of the uh, information that we've embedded for the consumer to look at. For example, here is the quote widget. Here's the brochure widget. Uh, and uh, there's our uh, email list widget so that you can generate uh, email contacts right from your website. This is maybe my um, one of my most favorite um, templates. And you can, again, just see how different this, by the way, this is the travel quote widget embedded up on the top of it. You notice when this page refreshes, a whole new travel quote appears. So there's always fresh material on the site. And as you come down through the site, this is a video right here. Specials are here, destination guides, ports of call, an About Us page. A blog, again, which helps with your search engine optimization. A contact form with a map. And an inspirational graphic. So do go and take a look, and you know I don't want to belabor the the sites, but I really am proud of what the the guys have done here. They have put together really excellent content. They put together really excellent sites for you, and the procedure is very simple. Uh, they send once you sign up, and we have a special NACTA sign up that uh, Lorraine and the office at NACTA will send to you. Once you sign up. Uh, you'll get a form that says, give us a little information about yourself, tell us if you currently have a website and where it is and what it looks like. And then the guys build the site for you. And that typically takes about 48 business hours. And so they create the site, they turn it over to you, and work with you to customize it then. So really it's only two to three days of, of time lapses before you have a, a fully built out and functional site. The other great thing about all these sites is they are completely drag and drop. If you know how to type, you can edit these sites yourself. You don't even have to know, you don't have to know a bit of code. And in fact, one of the really cool things, and again, I can't, I can't play a video for you here, but if you go to Voyager website and you look at this little video right here, you will see how easy the editing is. The editing literally is drag and drop. If you can use a word processor, you can, you can edit these sites completely yourself. However, we have a full support team, full videos. We do twice monthly webinars. We've got a full staff that will help you work with the website if you're having any trouble with it at all. I told you that a lot of our material was really good for, uh, for um, social media. And as a result, we developed a system so that you can utilize this content on a social media site. Now the library is very full and it's complete in both instances. However, if you also purchase our uh, system for social media, we do some of the social media for you. We actually do 10 postings a week for you on Facebook. But it's so much more complete. It's not just a posting system. One of the nice things about this system is that it works not just on, um, on Facebook, but it also works on Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, uh, certain blogging platforms. Uh, it's a very, very complete system, much different from anything else you might have ever seen. And one of the nice things about it is it gives you great analytic information about how you're posting and, and what the posts are, are doing for you. And I'll show you some of that. Um, so this is the calendar showing you what's going to be posted uh, this week. 
And if you look at, for instance, the 20th, you can see what's going to be posted on the 20th. Or if you look on the 21st, you can see what's going to be posted on the 21st. And you just click the post, and it pops over here, and you can look at it. And you can say, yeah, I want that to show up on my site, or no, I really don't do Costa Rica. I don't want that on my site. And you can remove it. It's that simple. You can actually take it off so that it doesn't post to your site. We post them a week in advance. So you have a chance to go in and alter them. Here's an article that we've posted for you. And so you can look at the article and you can decide, oh, yes, that's something that I want to uh, I want to post to my site or no, that's something I would rather not have on, on Facebook. One of the other great things that the system does for you, though, is analytics. And it will analyze every post that you do. And it will tell you how that particular post is doing. Now, this is over on the Travel Hoppers page, which is a page we maintain using this system. We already have 15,000 followers on it, which are largely consumer, though a lot of travel agents follow us there as well. And we use it just for testing, just to see how well did this article do, how well does that, how well does this graphic do. And so we get to test everything that we do for you to make sure that it's working. But what this means to you is that you can go to your own post and you can see how something is performing. So we see this reached 1,400 people and this had 104 clicks on it. 12 people are talking about it. 10 people liked it. Six people shared it. That's great interaction. And that's the kind of engagement that you want to generate more of on your, on your Facebook page. So these systems allow you to test things and they allow you to see how things are doing for you. One nice thing that it does is it monitors all of your platforms in one place. So here's, um, here is uh, Twitter, here is uh, Pinterest, here is Facebook. And you can see how everything is going on the site. You can monitor all these in one place rather than going platform to platform to figure out how things are doing. You literally have access to it all in one spot. And you'll have special feeds built in, which we've done here. For example, here's a custom search feed. And we'll teach you how to monitor your competition. This will actually let you monitor. For example, this is checking out other um, travel agencies in Tallahassee. So this lets me look and see, okay, well, here's what the competition is doing. Here's what they're saying. Again, all brought to one place. And I can even do that on a national basis. If I have a niche, I can actually research the niche and monitor the, how the niche is doing, what other people across country are doing on their Facebook pages or on their Twitter feeds. And that way, I'm better equipped to manage my own. And then again, you can get special analytics that will tell you more about every aspect of your social media performance. And one of the problems that I sometimes see with travel professionals in their social media efforts is that they really don't monitor it very well, or they do it haphazardly. They don't have enough time to do the content. And so what we try to do is remedy all those situations. We give you a methodical way of posting. We give you a methodical way for analyzing your performance. Remember what they say, that if you, can't, if you can't monitor something, if you can't measure it, then you probably can't manage it. And that's really very true. And what this does is give you the capacity to do all those things. The other thing that the, the uh, system has built into it is an email system. If you're currently using something like uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp, we've put a system much like that into uh, our system. Now, it's not exactly as sophisticated as either of those. It's a, it's a little more simple system, but it is more than adequate for email marketing. It will allow you to upload your database of clients. You can get 7,000 free emails out of the system every month, and you can email your own newsletter and create your own newsletter or you can uh, do things like we've already put in the system. And so we tell you this is a Homeric tour. Now when your client gets it, they're not going to know who it is. But you'll know who it is that's producing this particular 
uh, newsletter. And all of this can be edited by you. So it gives you the capacity to customize it, to personalize it for your clients, to you send it out to them as an email campaign, and then to monitor the results and get feedback and, best of all, get leads back from it. It's part of the, web, the uh, website system. It doesn't cost any extra. So I'm going to open up the questions here in a moment. Uh, but the thing I want you to know is after this, you are absolutely welcome to call the office, speak to the staff here, ask them questions about the system. If you currently have a website, they can easily move you over to this. And one of the reasons you may want to move over is the pricing. We are the least expensive product on the market, uh, cheaper than anyone else making websites for travel agents, and that's for everyone in the world. Um, for NACTA members, you even get additional special pricing, and that's going to be talked about um, uh, in, a, in an email to, uh, to you if you want to if you're not a part of NACTA right now and you want to check, you, you here on the site there is the pricing guide here. And you can see we're, we are $35 a month for the websites. We give you two months free if you go annually. And NACTA has special pricing off of that that Lorraine and, and the staff will send to you later. So Lorraine, if you have any questions, I'd be, uh, I'd be happy to, uh, to field them. Absolutely. Wow, Richard, this is a wonderful presentation. Thank you. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> um, There's a lot to it. Yeah, a couple of questions that came up. Uh, someone asked, uh, what if I don't have a website already? Um, they, they just wanted clarification. Do you help them set it up, get it going, or do they need to have one? But I just heard you mention something about transferring it over. So I'm kind of getting a feeling that you can start from scratch. You could absolutely start from scratch. Uh, we completely build the site out for you, and we're always here to help you. The thing that we've done is made the system very simple, so you can edit it yourself. You don't have to worry that, oh, my gosh, you know, I see something that I want to change. Well, if you see something you want to change quickly, you can change it on the fly. These systems are very, very easy to, uh, to alter, to make changes, to make modifications to. And like I said, it's drag and drop. It's exactly like we're using a word processor. In fact, you actually edit on the screen. You actually edit on the screen here. So you would type. If you wanted to change this sentence right here, you literally would just type over this. So it's that simple to use. But yes, many, many people come to us with no website at all. And we completely build it out for you, turn it over to you, and help you customize for yourself. You can upload your own photographs to it. You can use our libraries of materials. You know, we want this to be about you. So, so we're happy to work with anybody in any capacity, whether you have an existing website or whether you're brand new to it. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Because I can tell you from personal experience, some companies will have websites. They go, oh, they're easy to put in, and they are not easy to put in. Uh, and I'm a pretty tech-savvy person, so uh, that's really encouraging, and it's beautiful. Uh, I believe you said that it's mobile-ready, so it will access easily on iOS and Android devices also. They they look wonderful on a phone. They look they look outstanding on a phone. Yes, uh, they are completely mobile responsive. Perfect. Um, let's see, I'm looking through the questions. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading and thinking at the same time. That's not good. Um, you'd mentioned ten posts a week. Is that correct, or ten posts a month? And is it for one specific media, or will it be divided up on different medias? We do ten posts a month. Oh, I'm sorry, a week. Ten posts a week, and we we only post to Facebook. Now the system can be we that, and that's the auto posting, the posting that we do, uh, and that's an optional piece. Of course, you don't have to you don't have to have the social media manager. But if we're doing the posting for you, we do 10 posts a week. You can go in, add to them, change them, and then you can post on the other media. 
uh, you can you can use the system to do your monitoring, posting, management of all your social media platforms. But the only platform we actually post on is um, is Facebook. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, uh, a couple other good questions. Thank you, everybody. Keep posting in the questions. They are great. Keep them coming in. Uh, one question is, how do you compare to Agent Studio? Oh, gee, I, I, you know, I know. The, one thing I, the one thing I, yeah, the one thing I hate to do is to is to talk about a competitor, but I mean, the way we compare is this: uh, we um, we have much, 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 much more content. Uh, our content is designed to highlight the travel agent, not suppliers. Uh, the content is robust. Uh, the sites are much easier to customize and manage. Uh, one thing I'll say is no two sites of ours look alike. Um, so they are, they're almost a completely different animal. Uh, so that's, you know, that's almost more than I want to say about that. But, uh, um, but we have, we have, we have, um, you know, we, we've got a lot of folks that have compared the two and, and I invite you to do the same. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Richard. Mm, next question. How much is the initial setup for this system? If you purchase annually, there is no setup fee. If you purchase monthly, there is a $75 setup fee. So if you purchase annually, no setup and two free months. If you purchase monthly, there's a $75 setup fee. So if I'm using my mental math, and mind you, I'm not sitting here with a calculator in my hand, that already sounds like it's a hundred and what forty-five dollars savings. Am I doing my mental math right? Well, you you've got me beat. Um, it, <laughs> it is, uh, it's a bunch of money. It's a bunch of money. So yes, yes. Okay, I'm a travel agent, not a mathematician. Um, <laughs> next <same> question. <laughs> next question. Can I link my host agency bookings to this site? You can. You can. Uh, lots of people have integrated uh, code brand sites, booking engines. Uh, if you have a CRM system, uh, you can put the forms from that CRM system into these sites. They are very, very flexible. I have yet to see something we couldn't do. So absolutely, you can you can do that. Perfect. Next question. Do you place the website on different web browsers for clients, or, uh, or do you, uh, and I think the second question is, do you offer CEO services to move your site to top on browsers? Yeah, I think what they're talking about is the, are the search engines, and so these these um, these sites have SEO built into them, so they are very good about about uh, search engine optimization. We then assist you with a couple of different aspects. We we do twice monthly. We do seminars on both uh, technical aspects of the sites and technical aspects of digital marketing in general. And we teach so, uh, search engine optimization. And they are very good about uh, getting you optimized. And you have to have realistic expectations, just like any kind of thing. So, so let's say that you are a generalist. Well, if somebody types in travel, I don't care what site you're using, it's going to be very hard to rank in the top uh, of Google with, with the word travel. However, if you're in Tallahassee and you're a travel agency in Tallahassee, then yes, you can be you can easily optimize for that. If you have a if you do Civil War tours, then yes, it's very easy to specialize for a niche. So we can definitely assist you with your search engine optimization. That's something we can definitely do. And uh, we definitely help everyone in, in that process. That's, that's important to us and it's important to you. Um, 
Oh, this is a good question, and actually I commented back to the person who asked this because I'm a Mac-only person also, and Richard, I notice you're on a Mac. Um, I'm on the, a Mac. Quest the question is, I use a Mac and have to use a PC for my CRM. Do you have a CRM that is on the Mac platform? The, well, the, okay, if you're talking about our CRM, the, the, the little engine that we've built into ours is, is sort of a little mini CRM and that, that works on any platform. Any what it, It'll even work on your phone. Uh, so so that will work on anything. Now if you mean is there a third party CRM out there that works on a Mac, there are. Uh, there are there's one that's just been developed called um, Agent Base Connect that that works with um, works with Macs and PCs or whatever you're using. Uh, um, what is the other one? A agent, um, shoot, I do, the name flew out of my head. But yes, there, there are CRMs out there right now that that definitely work uh, cross-platform. It's really the older technologies that only work on one platform or another. The newer technologies are, are really uh, uh, much more... Uh, uh, ambidextrous that way. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, I can speak from personal experience. I'd used the CRM and stopped using it because they always required me as a Mac person to go to uh, Parallels or one of those programs, Boot Camp something, and right. go into another. And I, I, I stopped. I just went, you know what, it's not worth it. So uh, someone in the audience had mentioned Vacation CRM is now on a platform, and that's it. wonderful. That's it. That's the one I was trying to think of. Vacation CRM is the platform I was trying to think of. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and we've integrated we've integrated almost all of those into these sites in the past. So, Vacation CRM works like a dream on this. Okay. See, audience participation totally rocks. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> uh, next question: Is the email distribution system included with the website? Question one. It is. Que it is. It is. It is. Okay, perfect. Uh, will my client list be shared with anyone? No. No, it's your client list. We don't have any interest in it. I mean, I think um, it's just, no. Okay. It's private. It's your list. Absolutely. Um, See, so next question, and I'm sorry, I'm having it shows again. It says CEOs for niche, such as uh, destination weddings, golf trips, river cruises. Is there a CE, uh, CE, uh, SEO for that? Well, SEO for that is, is a combination of two things. There, there's a certain amount that we can do here with the website. Um, there are things that we can do that will assist you with, with the SEO there. Beyond that, though, the, the best thing that you can do is original content. So on your blog, you write a lot about whatever your niche is, and you, you use keywords that will uh, work with the algorithms of the search engines, Google, Bing, and we'll assist you with that. Um, you know, you'll be responsible for writing the articles, but we'll certainly teach you how to do that. We'll certainly teach you how to generate the original content you need. Um, next question. Do you help with the website build from start to finish? Yes, we do. And, and beyond, well beyond the finish. We, you know, there's, a, there's such a huge variance in the travel agents community between people's capabilities uh, online. Now, the first thing we've done is we've used a system that is very easy to manage. Again, it's drag and drop. If you can use a word processor, you can modify these sites. But then we have a support staff here who will answer the questions. If you get stuck, if you're having a problem, they're going to help you. We completely build the site out to begin with. We build it out for you. So you don't have to build the site. We're going to build it out for you, and then we're going to help you customize it in the way that really personalizes it, really projects your personality. And then we're on call continually to assist you in working with that site, 
getting you through any problems you have, working with you on any situation, any special situations that come up, any special needs you have. We're going to help you out. That's you know, we we're, we're here to have to have you be with us for years to come, not just to buy it one time from us. So we want you to be our client for years, and the only way we're going to do that is taking good care of you. And you know, we we've heard from lots of folks that our support team is the best in the, in the business. So so I'd, I'd put our support guys up against anybody. Um, I'm going to give a testimonial to some for somebody who isn't even on this call, which is totally awesome. I was uh, emailing back and forth or texting, excuse me, with a San Francisco Bay Area member, and I said, "Hey, you're missing, you know, this wonderful presentation from Richard on Voyager." She's like, "Oh, I recently signed up, redid my website, and it's wonderful. So look at that, Richard. You're getting a testimonial from somebody who isn't even able to uh, be on the call to tell me to say that. <laughs> that that's tremendous. You know, you know, guys. I mean, part of this is I was I used to be a travel agent. So you know, and 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 so even though I'm not a travel agent anymore, I mean, day in and day out, I work with you guys. So I get it. I know where you are. I know what you're doing. I know what you need. I know how to help you. And I know the trials and tribulations um, of, of marketing. And so, uh, you know, if you've read any of my columns, if, if you don't know anything else, I know the bumps and bruises we all experience in this business. So the, the, these sites are really designed around you. And, um, and our concern is, is first and foremost for your welfare. Right, right. Um, and if I bel if I remember correctly, you are able to add your own photos uh, that you care for, logos, and uh, do they need to be, can you put staff photos and headshots in there also? Absolutely. We think you should do that. You want to personalize these sites. You want them to be about you and your travel practice. And so, absolutely, you can you can customize it to the nth degree. Uh, is there customer service on nights or weekends? I think this is more of a time zone issue question than anything else. Uh, yeah, you know, I have I have one of my support staff here who chuckled when you said that uh, because he told me last night he answered a phone, he answered a uh, a call at one o'clock. Um, yeah, we're, we're not twenty four hours. Uh, <laughs> we we are we are here. Um, we're going to be here when you need us. You know, we monitor. I'm obsessive about it. Uh, my guys are obsessive about it. We check it all the time. Remember, it's a website. You know, it's not it's not uh, an accounting system. It's not a um, you know, it's not it's not something that uh, you are going to have to have emergency help with uh, in the middle of the night. Um, you know, it's 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 not it's not like it's, it's one of your clients. You may need emergency help in the middle of the night. Um, so we are, we have we have regular business hours here, but we are we are also on the system all the time, looking at it, monitoring it for emails, monitoring it for calls. So I, so I won't tell you that we're normal business hours, and I won't tell you that we're 24 hours. But if you know if you ever have a complaint with our customer service, just let me know about it, and uh, and I'll take care of it. There's there's not not ever been an issue, and I don't anticipate one. Richard, you sound like a travel agent. We have business hours, but we all know that we check our voicemail and emails even on nights and weekends. It's just part of who we are and the dedication uh, to customer service. Uh, well, it's, couple it's weird. <laughs> it, it, becomes, it, beca it becomes a weird obsession. It's what happens. It, you know, I, I, li I live on my email. <laughs> Last couple of questions. Uh, where can uh, I get more examples of your websites? Go to VoyagerWebsites.com. We've got sample sites there. And then call the office and our guys will direct you to some uh, websites that we built for agents. Uh, we, we actually only began building this. We were in beta for the last three months of last year. And then we launched in January, and we already have over 100 websites. Uh, so, and we're adding 20 to 30 websites a month. So we can um, we can certainly direct you to uh, uh, all kinds of sites for you to look at. 
perfect. And you had mentioned at the very beginning, and I know that a men, uh, message will be sent out, uh, great pricing for uh, just in general. Uh, is there an additional offer for NACTA members uh, that would, they will be offered? Yes, NACTA members get uh, uh, a pricing that's even reduced off of what we have on the site here. And so if you're going to sign up, you want to use the NACTA link. There's a special NACTA link that uh, will be provided to you by NACTA's office. Perfect. And you'll want, to use, you'll want to use that to sign up with because there is a discount off the normal pricing. Excellent. And just to let everybody know that a message will come from NACTA Corporate tomorrow with that link. And again, that will only come to people who are current NACTA members. It will not just be because you are on this call. So you'll receive a message tomorrow that has a link. If you happen to have missed part of the webinar, we were having some technical difficulties at the beginning. Um, again, and as always, I encourage you to sign up and subscribe to the NACTA YouTube account, but I will also send a message afterwards uh, with the link to be able to go that. But do keep a heads up, check your emails if you're interested in this because the email message with the discount link will be coming directly from NACTA. Uh, any last minute closing comments you would like to make, Richard? Well, we'd love to have the opportunity to talk to you. So if you have questions about this, you can call us at uh, the, the number that's on the website there. It's 904-404-8521. That's our phone number. And just give us a call here and uh, talk to us. We're, we're happy to help. We're happy to answer questions. We'd love to have you on board with us. And what is that email address again? The email address there is agent support at voyagertravelguide.com. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody for being on the call today. And I look forward to uh, being with you again, Richard. We have another special NACTA benefit uh, webinar that is going to be come up that's hosted by, with, by you again. I believe it is May 26th. What is the topic I, of that? About a month from now. We'll be covering some of the products that we provide to NACTA members through um, uh, through Voyager. So this, uh, the subset of products that we provide uh, free of charge to NACTA members. Perfect, perfect. Thank you again, everybody. And thank you, Richard. Again, you, as always, you are wonderful to work with. I'm so glad we were able to have this webinar today. There was, for those of you who missed the first 30 seconds of the call, we, there was a little question about whether we were having this webinar today uh, because they were having tough technical difficulties. So Richard and I earned a couple few more gray hairs uh, and uh, I'm very happy that this is being recorded and you did such a good job. Richard, thank, thank you again. Thank you all to the NACT uh, members for being here and I will listen, talk to you soon and post the, the URL so you can check this out on the NACT uh, website uh, as well as the YouTube account. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.